My name is Beverly Fagan. I'm a third year apprentice welder. I need 800 hours until I'm a journeyman welder. I'm hoping to get that within the next six months. Uh, I've been welding since 2005. I did my program at the College of North Atlantic in St. John's. I absolutely love my job. Best thing I ever did. The work is great. People I work with are great. A uh, typical work day for me is if, for instance, I'm working in a fabrication shop, uh, depending what we're doing, uh, you'll be handed out your work assignment by your supervisor. You could be building something for the offshore oil industry. It could involve any different number of type of welding. You could also do grinding, uh, gouging, which is also another component of welding, uh, cutting parts by machine. You could use a drill press any number of things you could be asked to do and you're expected to do. Um, most of the things that I've learned, I've learned on the job. What you do in school is a very small portion to what you do in reality. You're going to learn so much more on the job that you could ever possibly learn in school. What I like best about this job is the feeling of being productive. I go to work and I accomplish something. I could make, uh, like I said, a component for the offshore oil industry that's going out to the offshore here in New St. John's or something that could be sent out west, wherever. I sometimes work at the local dockyard as a contractual welder. Uh, we have to build parts for ship. We have to repair ships. Sometimes you're taking out a complete hull. Sometimes you're building in a new tank. But at the end of the day, you can look at it and say, wow, I did this. I also like the fact that uh, I go to work like this. I don't have to worry about my hair or none of that kind of stuff. If I get dirty, who cares? I don't have to worry about that. Um, the people I work with, the guys, are fantastic. And it is mostly male-dominated, although I've worked with women millwrights, machinists, and welders. But it's mostly guys. Um, as far as that goes, you go in, you do your job. You know, uh, you do it to the best of your ability, and you get along with everybody. I've never had a problem. I started my career in 2005, and currently right now where I work, I make $24.75 an hour. Uh, the jump from money, every time you do a block, which is every 16 to 1800 hours, your pay rate increases. And this is man it's not mandated, but it is a guideline that is followed by all employers, and it's set out by the Industrial Training Division. So they pretty much follow it to the letter. Right now, where I'm working, I get 90% of the journeyman rate. So if the journeyman rate is $27 an hour, I get 90% of that. It's the only job I've ever had where I got increases in pay without question, really. It's just automatic. Once you have the hours completed, you automatically get an increase. And that increase is more than like 50 cents an hour. It's usually, it can be up to $5 an hour an increase which is fantastic. Uh, I chose welding as a career because I had spent many years in university, changed majors many times, was not happy, but couldn't figure out what I had to do. I was always told, have to go to university. I went to university, was not happy, could not see no future. So then I just worked for a while in the customer service industry, didn't like it, but I didn't know what else I was supposed to do. I have many hobbies, particularly in crafts. I do stained glass as a hobby. And in stained glass, you do soldering. And I love to solder. So a friend of mine said to me, if you like soldering so much, why don't you be a welder? And I thought, oh my god, nobody has ever said this to me before. So I went home, I looked up welding, uh, what you have to do in school. It was a nine month program. And I thought, that's better than four years university. Uh, there was no math, no physics, no chemistry. I thought, oh my God, this sounds great. But I still wasn't sure. I didn't want to go back to school and spend money and time and not like it. So I said, you know, I got to figure out a way to try it or see it done or something. So then I enrolled in a program called Orientation to Trades for Technology for Women. It's a six month program that gives you exposure to a lot of different trades. We did electrical, roughnecking, carpentry, different things. When we did the welding component, and I picked up a welding torch, I turned to my friend, who's also a welder now, and said, this is it. I found it. I can do this every day. I can go to work happy. This is what I'm going to do. And 
that's what I've done. And I haven't looked back since, and I do not regret it whatsoever. Um, if I were to encourage anybody to go into any trade, go for it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Uh, one of the most important things, if at all possible, try to get exposure to the trade first. Whether you go to your local college and look at, say, like the College of North Atlantic, their welding shop, or go to a fabrication shop, or if you want to do heavy equipment, go to an employer and say, you know what, I'm interested in this. Is it possible I could just have some idea? You'd be surprised how open people are. They're willing to show you things. They're willing to let you look around. And it does not hurt to ask. But the most important thing is never give up. It's hard. It's hard work. I go and do my work, and I'm happy. You know, it's the best thing ever. You just got to stick it out and hang in there. And especially if you love it. If you're not 100% committed, well, OK. But if you're like me and you love it, there's nobody, nothing in this world would stop me from being a welder.